Hello everyone, I am Mohit Ahmed Siddiqui and uh, in this video I will briefly explain the backwards calculation of variances. Uh, no, and normally what happens that uh, we are given the actual rate, the uh, standard rate, we are given information like this, the standard rate and uh, the actual rate and we are required to calculate variances. This is a normal calculation of variance. But what if we are given the variance, we are given the variance and we are given uh, some of the other information and we are required to calculate one of these, one of these actual hours, standard hours, some instructors refer to questions like these as backward calculations. These are sometimes called backward calculations of variances where we are given the variances and we are required to calculate one of these like the standard rate, the actual rate, the actual hours, the standard hours. Now, let me explain it with the help of an example. Now, we are given here. I have uh, here I have written formula for labor efficiency variance and the labor rate variance. Now, just imagine what if you are given the labor rate variance, the standard rate and the actual rate, and you are required to find out actual hours. What if you are given the labor efficiency variance, the standard the let's say the standard hours and the standard rate and you are required to calculate actual hours so i will elaborate such calculation such a calculation with the help of a with the help of an example question in the sima p1 exam kit okay now here i have a question a company called ss limited a company called ss limited operates a standard marginal costing system and the following information is given and we are required to calculate the actual rate that is paid per direct labor hour for the period the actual rate so we are required to calculate the actual rate that uh, the company paid during the period okay then now the actual rate that the company paid during the period. We are required to calculate this. So if we look at these two formula, the labor efficiency variance and the labor rate variance, uh, how can we calculate the actual rate? Just uh, look at the question. We are required to calculate the actual rate. So actual rate, we are in which formula actual rate is given here. The actual rate is given in the labor rate variance formula, actual rate. We are required to find out the actual rate for the actual rate. We are required to find out the actual rate. So now what actual rate? This is the question. This is what the question requires us to calculate the actual rate. Okay. Now, so it, it seems like from this equation, it appears that we need to have labor rate variance, actual hours and standard hours. Now, just look in the question. Do we have all this information given in the question? Do we have all this information? given in the question, the labor rate variance, actual hours and standard hours, labor rate variance, labor rate variance. Yes, we are given the labor rate variance. We require actual hours and what else do we need? We need the standard rate, the actual hours and the standard rate. Are we given the standard rate? Yes, we are given the standard rate. That is $12. This is the standard rate. If you read the question, you will come to know that this is the, because this is a standard cost card. So this is the standard rate. 
but here we are not given here something is missing and that is the actual hours the actual hours we can determine the standard hours each unit is budgeted the standard hours each unit is budgeted to take 5 hours and the actual production is 11500 units so we can find the standard hours by multiplying these two 5 hours and 11500 units 5 hours multiply by 11500 in this way we can calculate the standard hours and we are given the labor efficiency variance as well so 5 into 11500 so what wait a minute 5 into 11500 500 standard hours actual hours we will calculate the actual hours from this equation standard rate what is the standard rate the standard rate is 12 dollar per hour so the standard rate is 12 dollars now the labor efficiency variance labor efficiency variance 30000 adverse the variance is adverse this means that we have to put a minus sign a subtraction sign here why because a labor very uh, labor uh, an adverse labor uh, efficiency variance uh, 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 results from Uh, a higher number of actual hours as compared to uh, a lesser number of standard hours when actual hours exceed standard hours this results in an adverse labor efficiency variance and from the formula you can see that it is obvious that if actual hours are higher than the standard hours what will happen we will get a minus sign we will get a minus sign so here i have used a minus sign with 30000 an adverse labor efficiency variance okay then minus 30000 divided by 12 is equals to what will we get if we multiply this 5 by 11500 we will get 57500 we will get 57500 the standard hours okay actual hours minus actual hours now we can easily calculate actual hours by just rearranging the by rearranging just solving this equation by rearranging this equation we can easily find out the actual hours now so actual hours just wait a minute actual hours is equals to how much 30000 divided by 12 minus 57000 and 500 oh sorry uh actual hours is equals to 57500 in fact plus it will become like this Fifty-seven thousand five hundred. When we, when we change the position of actual hours with when we exchanged, in fact, in this equation, when we exchanged actual hours position with this thirty uh, thousand divided by twelve, what happened? Thirty thousand divided by twelve became plus, and actual hours the minus sign with the actual hours it is removed. So, actual hours were in minus. this the uh, when we rearrange the equation the actual hours from the uh, right hand side of the equation we changed uh, this these actual hours from the we, we brought actual hours from the right hand side to the left hand side of the equation 
and hence the minus sign is uh, removed and uh, we brought 30000 uh, divided by 12 from the left hand side to the right hand side of the equation so instead of uh, using a minus sign i am i have put a plus sign here plus 30000 divided by 12 so what now 30000 divided by 12 30000 divided by 12 is 2500 is 2500 and the sum of these two is 60000 so actual hours are how much actual hours are 60000 hours actual hours are 60000 now now that we have calculated the actual hours we have the standard rate we have the labor rate variance we can determine the actual rate using this formula labor rate variance formula okay now labor rate variance is equals to actual hours standard rate minus actual rate okay then now the labor rate variance uh look for the labor rate variance in the question the labor rate variance is given 45000 adverse labor rate variance is 45000 adverse now i will do the same thing for adverse i will use a minus sign like i did before in the previous calculation actual hours how much are the actual hours so okay we have calculated the actual hours and we found that actual hours were 60000 here yes we calculated the actual hours here 60000 so i am putting these actual hours figure in the uh, labor rate variance formula moving forward just wait a minute yes what is the standard rate the standard rate is 12 dollar per hour and we are required to calculate the actual rate now when you solve this equation what will happen it will become like this 45000 divided by 60000 12 minus actual rate moving forward it will become 12 minus actual rate is equals to minus 0.75 because when you divide 45000 by 60 you will get 0.75 yes it will become 0.75 and eventually your answer for actual rate will be for actual rate will be 12 plus 0.75 is equals to 12.75 this is the actual rate that the company paid during the period so in this the the purpose i decided to solve this question is to show you that not always you will be required just to calculate simple variances but the examiner can ask you to calculate something else some some other variable instead of variances so this is called uh, this is called uh, backward calculation of variances where we are given the variance and we are required to calculate some other variable in the variance formula okay then thank you very much thanks for watching it was muid ahmed siddiqui and uh, i will keep posting videos like this you can uh, you can definitely call or whatsapp me you can definitely call or whatsapp me on my number and you can also inbox me uh, via facebook you can also uh, send me a message on the facebook messenger if you 
require any kind of help and if you require any kind of uh, and if you face any kind of difficulty thank you very much thanks for watching it was muhid ahmed siddiqui thank you very much